Hello, a warm welcome to you. I'm Sabina from the Chaplaincy team, and I'm really glad you've joined me. It's Christmas Eve. Many people around the world are getting ready for the festive season, while others simply dread this time when you're supposed to be happy, but you are anything but. There are ones like me who hoped so much to travel home to be with their family, with their loved ones. But due to COVID, it all had to be cancelled. Then there are the ones who abhor the shopping frenzy, who feel consumerism makes the season kind of empty and senseless. And they are the ones who had a bereavement who fear looking at that empty chair at the table. So many reasons to be sad instead of happy. But this is okay. We do not have to feel the way the Christmas advertisements ask us to be. It's Christmas Eve and we might have a long time in solitude ahead of us but this does not need to be a lonely time. Easier said than done, you might tell me. True. But thinking about this special evening might help. You know, we Germans have a different name for Christmas Eve. We call it Heiligabend, that is, Holy Evening. I find this notion captures much more what this evening is about. Holiness. What is holiness? It is this indescribable feeling of encountering something that is different, evoking a sense of awe. It could be the view from a mountaintop, as well as a blade of frost-covered grass in a valley with its thousand sparkling lights in the sun sunshine. A cathedral or a temple in all its majesty, as well as a friendly smile by the person. We know it when we see holiness. There's something special about it, something beautiful pointing to something or someone bigger than us, putting our egos back into the right perspective. We cannot make holiness, but we can perceive it. It is a generous gift to us by our maker, or whatever you believe is at the root of our planet. Thinking about it, we get a bit of holiness every day, when the sun comes up, when we breathe, when a friend sends a kind message. Actually, we are getting many presents every day. We have a life, food, friends, people who care about us. It is so easy to take all of this for granted. The sharp stop that COVID or other adversities have put to our hopes make us realize again how blessed we are in so many ways. This is why I decided to beat the Christmas blues by lighting a candle. And by reflecting on all the good things in life. The light shines in the darkness and the darkness cannot overpower the light. These words are from the first chapter of the Gospel of John and in the hours of darkness I will hold on to these words. Bless you all this Christmas Eve. My heart goes out to you. Be in touch with us if you have questions. Take care.